what is up everybody happy to have you guys back happy to be back it's a beautiful day today it is gonna rain this afternoon but my goodness have we been having some good weather I think it is officially time uh, this year to be back in the grind on here and I'm definitely looking forward to it I've got a lot I want to talk about I'm gonna be very very careful to be organized because I have a tendency of just winding around today I want to talk about visualization I'm gonna make two different videos I think today just because there's two separate topics I want to talk about um, the visualization one I just want to try to be straight to the point do my best wish me luck because I'm not good at being straight to the point when I make these videos and then the one I'm gonna uh, record probably a little bit later on my way back home or something is gonna be kind of just my typical ramble so I'm gonna try to be focused and disciplined right now <laughs> and then I can reward myself with the ability to ramble about some exciting like looking forward statements and stuff like that um, so today visualization I'm gonna start by bringing up a feedback loop of visualization this is something that I have noticed myself and also have heard a lot of well-known um, successful people talk about this feedback loop it, it, it begins with belief and this is when when you're trying to achieve anything you know if you can master visualization you can literally have anything that you want in life anything anything that you want okay I gotta emphasize that because it is very important so the feedback loop is belief potential action and results and is a feedback loop if you can build the belief in yourself to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve that belief will raise your potential because one of the key factors in the amount of potential you have to achieve the thing is how much do you believe in yourself belief is something that you can build and, and create out of thin air you don't need pre-existing anything to have belief in yourself you can believe in yourself and as you believe in yourself your potential rises okay now as your potential rises your ability to do the things that you want to do to achieve the things that you want to do that higher potential makes it easier to have action and now everybody should know at this point especially if you've been listening to my my videos consistency and action are pretty much the main things the only things that will get things moving in your life it doesn't matter there's a lot of internet gurus out there who will try to tell you um, that all you got to do is visualize it and that's it well they're missing the most important part of the feedback loop and that is action but anyways as your potential rises the likelihood of action rises with it so belief creates potential which increases your chances of action because as your belief increases and your potential increases the likelihood of you having the motivation and the guts to do the thing you want to do also increases right now with that higher chance of action and actually being active on the goal that you are setting you get results all right so it starts with belief and it ends with results you have to believe in yourself to increase your potential to do the thing and as your potential increases your likelihood of action increases when the likelihood of action increases you actually work on it <laughs> and then while you're working on it no matter what it is you're doing as long as you're taking steps towards it you get results and this is the coolest part 
as you start to realize your results, get this, brain blast guys. As you start to realize your results, you believe in yourself more. Ah! <laughs> All right, so you get results, your belief increases, and then what happens? I think you've got it by now. As your belief increases, your potential to do it increases, your likelihood of action increases, you get more results. The more results makes bigger belief. All right, so that's just the start. All right, now I just wanna talk about, since we are talking about visualization, that is the feedback loop of visualization. As it, it, it takes time, it takes focus, it takes dedication, but as long as you are determined to do it you put yourself in this feedback loop and it does take time to cycle through it does especially if you're starting from rock bottom i started from rock bottom i was fat i was lazy i had no drive no motivation to do anything and i was extremely depressed you know uh going down the you know that that negative downward spiral in the mind of depression you know that's how it goes and, and it took a very, 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 very long time of intense focus on just trying to believe in myself. But eventually, I came out here, I made my first video, which is still probably one of my best performing ones. Um, I got myself in the gym. I got myself exercising and moving. I started to be more confident in myself and I'll tell you I didn't necessarily at the very beginning have a specific defined goal or reason why I wanted to do all these things that is true and sometimes you don't need to um, my main motivation at the beginning was I do not want to have a short life if you know what I mean that was my motivation so i was like okay i'm either gonna do that or i'm gonna fix it and so my motivation my goal was i'm gonna fix it and then i'm gonna figure it out from there and honestly for a lot of people that's probably where you need to start okay <laughs> so uh let's talk about visualization so there is a, a kind of a uh, a path that I want to explain to you guys about um, getting better at visualization because everybody talks about it but you know if you don't do it in the right way it's kind of like not really effective you know um, so I talk about this a lot on my channel and there's probably gonna be some people watching this video that says okay I can close the video right now because I've heard this a million times it's just super important um, when if you want to have or build an effective and powerful and indestructible uh, visualization skill, you need to be able to define the goals that you want and just choose one. If you're practicing, if you're learning, trying to figure it out, choose one goal. You know, I, we all, we think we don't have goals, but that is not true. Everybody, whether you believe it or not, subconsciously has some goal that they want to achieve. And usually it's just happiness. Um, so it is, let's just say on the terms of being happy, right? What is one thing that you that you could do that you believe will make you happy, right? And it doesn't matter if it's something that's reasonable or logical right now or like like super out of reach. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how far away it is from your reality today. Um, just pick one. Focus on one thing that you want or that, that you believe would make you happy, okay? Now, the visualization, the visualization, sorry, I did that in reverse. No. <laughs> um, the visualization starts when uh, you can take that goal and you can really very detailed define it. So like, and I don't just mean like, this is what I want to achieve. It's not like, okay, I want to be happy and I think I can get there by being physically fit. All right, game over, we're done. And then move on to visualization. It's not like that. What you need to do is you need to get in the habit. You need to 
force yourself, and I mean force yourself because it's not easy to do it on a regular basis, to write down every single morning. Write down as detailed as possible the image, the sensory details. What does it feel like? What does it taste like? What does it smell like? The sensory details of standing in the shoes of the person you are visualizing, you are trying to become. You need to be able to see this is me where I want to be and you need to know all the details, especially emotionally, because emotion is the connection between the physical and the ethereal. It is the connection between the universe, it is the law of attraction, it is the universe putting the things in your life to help you because it wants to help you achieve the things that you're going for. You need to have the emotional attachment to it. So when you're visualizing it and defining it, define in extreme detail, you know? Like, who am I standing in the position of where I want to be? Define it. Make an, make an extremely detailed goal. The more detailed your goal is, the easier it is to start making steps towards it because you can you can start to break it down and see all the intricate things of like this is really what I need to do and we and it's important to be honest with yourself that usually we are not the human being at this moment that is in those shoes the reason is because if we were that human being we would be in those shoes so you need to take responsibility for like your state of mind, you know, how you treat other people, your work ethic, you know, how do you perform at work? Do you wake up every morning and get grumpy that you have to go work for the man and make somebody else rich? You know, I used to be there. It's like I'm wasting all my time making somebody else rich. It's like, no, I'm giving myself the stability and the foundation that I need I'm trading my time for that stability and foundation to have time and space to build the things that I want in my life. You know? And you also have to realize that if that person didn't own that company, you wouldn't have a job right now. Right? So you got to realize also that yes, there are people who do that um, in, in like complete greed and selfishness and they don't really care too much about the, the people working for them and stuff like that. But for the most part, most successful business people are offering, you know, like work for people to do so that they can have the stability and the foundation to build the things they want in their life. So you do have to kind of take responsibility for the fact that you're not there yet. Now I'm getting derailed. I always do this. I tried, I said I was gonna try to stay focused, sorry. Um, but anyways, once you have it defined and clear and, and the goals are set out and written down on a piece of paper, you know, be in the habit of rewriting this list every single day. I know it sounds annoying. It really is. And it was when I started, but if you can wake up in the morning, you can write it down. You are immediately programming your thought process, your mindset, and, and, your reason for doing the things you're doing that day and you will remember the entire day this is why i'm doing this and you, your performance and your your mindset and your emotional state for that day will be different and that's super important for the longevity of it but once it's defined is when you then go into the visualization state you need to find a quiet place quiet time somewhere where people are not going to disturb you if you need to put on some like you know uh, non-vocal like soft binaural beats or music or something in the background um, or put some headphones on with something nice and soft that's not going to distract you um, you can do that to drown out the outside noises and stuff like that but you need to find a little bit of time to sit down and everybody has this ability, whether you believe it or not, you might think that, oh, my mind's too busy. If your mind's really busy, then just sit a little bit longer. Eventually you'll get into this state. Picture the things, like the, the imagery of it. Like you can write it on paper, yes, 
but it's not the same as seeing it in your mind's eye so take the time to visualize those things you know and embellish it you know live in that moment and see it i gotta wipe my bug got in my mask here okay sorry so visualize it write those things down and and feel it like feel it and, and it's like I said the emotional connection is super important so when you're standing in those shoes and you see that defined image this is me this is me and you got to realize this is you it's not some imaginary you it is you and you need to feel emotionally like this is you is this person excited is are they happy are they proud of themselves well in that state be excited be proud of yourself and, and and just feel it and live it for just a moment make it so real that you can feel it even though you're not there yet when you come out of that state keep those emotional feelings those emotional states say like this is me go about your day it's going to be difficult there's a lot of distractions a lot of things that happen in our life especially if we're not really fond of what we do for most of our time but yeah so feel it i got distracted because the red light came up on me really quick <laughs> but anyways when you come out try to hold those of that emotional state and you should be able to remind yourself throughout the day like this is me this is what i'm working for and i'm gonna try to wrap this up because it is pretty much pretty much over here um that's you that's what you're working for that's visualization that's how it works and if you can do this on a daily basis uh, it's reality it becomes reality because like I don't know how to explain this without sounding like a complete crazy person. <laughs> um, if you can visualize it and you can see it, literally the universe gives you what you are on the inside. And I know a lot of you have heard that it is that the world is a reflection of your inside. And, and, it's, and you can simplify this. Like if you're grumpy, it always feels like things happen to make you grumpy and then you sit there and you say well if these things didn't happen i wouldn't be grumpy well no you were grumpy first <laughs> uh, same thing goes the other way if you're motivated or if you're excited or if you're happy or feeling proud of yourself um, it always seems that things happen to make you feel proud of yourself and 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 stay motivated you know and then like the coolest thing ever this is really cool um in that state of mind you end up meeting people and like it feels like magic because you meet somebody who is like exactly the teacher that you needed at this moment and you become good friends and you start building friend groups and you can socialize with these people and everybody around you is starting to be like supportive and it's just it's so neat because it all just starts to happen and it starts with the visualization anything that you want if you can start with the visualization you can have it guarantee you and, and just don't worry about the time it takes the bigger your goals the longer it might take unless you're just like so lucky or in just the right place to where uh you just get exactly what you need to have it you know like immediately sometimes for some people that happens but if it doesn't if it doesn't happen you got to realize that usually the better things in life take time and especially if you're trying to rebuild yourself like if you want to have a better life you got to understand that you got to rebuild yourself because you need to be the person that deserves that better life and it takes a lot of um honesty with yourself and it takes a lot of consistency and then finally i'm going to wrap this up by saying things will happen life will happen you will get derailed if it happens don't beat yourself up it is literally part of the process usually in my opinion when i feel like i've gotten derailed from my goals and from my dreams and everything it has been because i needed the break 
because I have gotten really obsessed with all of this and I just go, go, go all the time and probably at an unhealthy level. Um, I don't really know what it means to take a break anymore. Uh, and, and sometimes I need that forceful disengagement from my goals. And that's, that's just the way I see it now is like when life says, you know, hey, I'm going to derail you. This is going to happen. Usually it's, it's meant to be that way. And it's super important because without proper rest, you can't perform well. So that's what I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to say. Um, very wordy. And uh, yeah, I hope it helps somebody. I, I feel like I got my point across the way I wanted to. I'm very happy with it. As I always say, I'm here to serve you guys, so please, if, if it was helpful, um, you know, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. I'm not going to beg, but it does help. I'm getting very close to being able to uh, partner and kind of kind of realize some of the results of my hard work. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.